and and they try and set you up. So there was um, I'll get on to Gary Gibbs uh, one mm. set, but there was um, I got contacted by a journalist from a national newspaper and wanted my opinion on the arrest of a guy called Wilfred Wong, who's a, a good guy, um, and he's one of the leading investigators into satanic ritual abuse. He's currently serving a very big sentence for, for kidnap. Uh, things went very wrong for him. Um, you know, and I just wish him well. Uh, and anyway, there was uh, a team of investigative journalists. They were out to do a hatchet job um, on those that support Wilfred Mong, and they were out to do it on me. Because that's another thing that the, the tro- when the trolls come out, they'll bring that one out as well, yeah, just yeah. through association with this yeah, guy. Of course. But it's it seems as though you mentioned before it was like a, um, an attempt of um, to rescue a kid. Yeah, right? yeah, and I stand by Wilfred. Yeah. It, it's not how I would have done things. Yeah. Um, I, I would never advocate breaking the law. I think you should always work within the law. Um, he went outside of it and he got caught. So mm. I don't know what they're moaning at. If if, if they're pro Satanists and they're, they're against him, well, you, you know, what result for you lot? This poor man's now behind bars, you know, and will spend a good percentage of his life now behind bars in, in the autumn years of his life. But he is... He's an incredible individual, Wilfred, and I stand by him. He's, he's a good man. He's he's helped mm. a lot, a lot of people. So he's what done. was that all about then? Like, how did he get arrested? And uh, um, did... Well, we can only go on what the press is yeah. saying because the, the, the court um, had, um, I think it was a Section 34. There, there's an order that gets put on whenever there's uh, uh, an anonymity child abuse case goes up, which this is mm. what it was. So there was a child that, 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 that was involved subject to the anonymity. So... Um, the court was closed to the public. Mm. Um, there was only certain members of the jury, uh, the um, press allowed in there. Um, and it was during the lockdown thing as well. So the amount of information that came out was very, very limited. Mm. Um, Wilfred couldn't tell me too much because the, the prison operate the PIN system, which is um, a, a private phone company run it, and they're all monitored. So mm. he had to be careful what he told me in correspondence. And on the phone, so I didn't know too much. But um, you can only go what, what you know about yeah, him, the yeah, character yeah, assessment of the guy. Yeah, and I and I know who the mother is. That there's a child um, that there was some sort of acrimony between the mother and the father. Uh, the mother is alleging that the the child is um, uh, being exposed to harm because he was residing with the father. I think there was a family court ish uh, thing going mm. on. There was allegations that the father, as far as I'm aware, was exposing the kid to maybe ritualistic abuse, mm. and social services were involved as well. I think the kid was being put in some sort of respite care or or some sort of foster placement. I'm not not too sure on it, and uh, I think by the sounds of it, the mother had corralled people to help her help her child. From, from, you know, allegedly future abuse. Mm. Um, so he stepped in. Wilfred stepped in. Wilfred to try and stepped stop in. It. Wilfred stepped in, and from there, um, a group was formed. You know, and they had a plan. And by the looks of it, it was to to take the kid away from mm. the alleged danger and 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 place them elsewhere, whether it's in this country or it was outside. I'm not too sure. Because uh, I, I last first I knew about it was through the national press. Mm. Um, anyway, what came out from the evidence in court was that uh, there was, I think, in Wrexham in North Wales, the child was with a foster placement. So it was a foster mum and her mm. child in a car. They went into a garage to get some fuel. Wilfred, I think, and a group of others had a driver and. Mother, maybe I'm not too sure. They pulled up. The mother tried to take the, the child. Um, she, the foster mother won't allow it. Wilfred then allegedly pulled a knife. Had a knife. Um, he disabled the car by stabbing the tires, and then he. They said that he threatened the woman mm. with the knife and took the child. So that's not it, good. That's not good optics, is it? No, no, it's terrible. And so you've got a robbery. Mm with a weapon so it's mm. an armed robbery mm. it's an armed aggravated kidnapping so whatever way you look at it there, there was going to be double figures anyway with the best mitigation in the world um looks like wilfrey went not guilty again i don't understand the rationale that'd be up to him to explain that one because it's been so limited and they got caught they were they headed then 
uh, down the M1. I'm not sure if there was a car change or what. They had spotters were put on way to uh, make sure that they weren't being followed. Um, there were two guys that were landscape gardeners were putting up a fence. They witnessed it all. I think mm. they called the police. And, of course, we've got the AMPR system. Now, so smart motorways work on the AMPR system. That's why they're smart. What's the AMPR? It's automatic number plate readers. Right. So, uh, before it would it would need um, the police to put up a number plate within the county force and then share it nationally if they knew it was going to go across county borders, you know. Mm. Uh, now, it goes on to the number plate reading system. And there's cameras everywhere. And so any car of notice will ping up, whether it's dynamic and it's as it's happening, real mm. time, or it's later on. It, there'll be a database where the car was seen here, here, and here. And I think it was tracked along the M6 onto the M1, all through the smart motorway system, AMPR, and then it got to Northampton. And the, the police managed then to intercept it. And and they had to intercept it with armed police because it was an armed situation, um, and a child was at risk. So the the police acted right. Mm. There was rumours that people were saying it, it was special forces involved in all this. No, because uh, that how they acted was was protocol. Um, so when I was on on the child abuse units, we would get abductions, and everything was real time, fast time, dynamic, you know. And we would do the same. All ports would be alerted. Mm. Everyone, every force would be alerted. And you could narrow it down very quickly and and identify your target and the location and, and put it here in very, very quickly. So they, it worked for the police. I think it worked to plan. Um, and Wilfred ended up, I think he's got a 17-year prison Oof. sentence. Big. You know, it's a big sentence. I think it's it's far too big for what he's done. Everyone involved has got a huge sentence. But it's all about intent. If he's trying to do it for a good reason... Yeah, 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 of course. But they don't see uh, it that way, do they? I, I don't know whether... If he, that's true, I'm just saying yeah, if that yeah, is true. I don't then... know whether he used yeah. uh, that in his mitigation. Um, he went not guilty. Um, would it have been better? I think someone, I think the mother went mm. guilty. And, of course, she will qualify for, for a 30% discount straight away. So Home Office guidelines, if you go guilty, at the earliest opportunity, you'll qualify for a 30% discount. <laughs> <laughs> 